Hello everybody and welcome to another day at Happy Tree Bonsai. Today I have this Loisaloma Bahamensis. It was grown at the same time as my other one that you have seen in a previous video. This has been kept in this tiny pot since the, since the beginning, the point where it's split. Today we'll be doing an initial styling and repotting. Yeah. So anyway, hope you enjoy this video. To start, we're going to remove any obvious deadwood. Try to get back to some living tissue to help that heal over better. Just keep nibbling away at that a little bit. Wish this fan would go a little harder. It's a little bit hot and humid out. And by a little, I mean it's in the 90s. It just rained. So it's going to be a little, a little toasty. But that's okay. Structurally, it's not a whole lot that I want to use on this thing. First, we try to find a front. Probably will be this because at the top it leans to you a bit, fortunately. That means this cut is a bit is visible. There's a nice, there's a start of a nice root base down here. A bit of spread. Lean forward a little bit. You can 
pull this down and twist it into this area. Some back branch. It's a little toasty out. So as we wire this tree, think about future options for development. It's still a relatively young tree. So this tech this is actually from a batch that was started about six seven years ago just goes to show keep something in a small pot it'll stay small piece of dead wood. Try not to trap any foliage in our wiring. This is my second Les Loma Bahamensis. I really enjoy them for their very small leaf hair, their very small leaf structure, as well as the fact that they're fairly flexible, very forgiving, and they produce little powder puff sort of flowers. like this bit of growth in here. Do we're gonna nibble it away first. That actually I want this whole section to go. I 
step one. Come back in with concave cutters to clean that up. I don't even really need to put much wire on that. If anything, I just pull it down to there. guy to help fill in through here as it progresses. Got that coming out of the corner there, clean that up, for that vertical. Excess wire. Do I want this? I don't know, but I do know. Still more dead stubs I can take back. That's growing out of a bad spot. branches stacked on top of each other so we clear that out this will probably be the new leader that's it for branch selection. I'll finish wiring up the remaining. Then I'll take it over to the repot, sta the repot station. Take an arbitrary amount of wire. At a certain point, you'll get good at guesstimating how much wire you need. I'm still figuring that out.
I'm doing that first wrap to go over the top because I plan on pulling this branch down a bit. So that'll help support that. We want to nibble way more at this top bit because there is a little bit of something funky going on in there. Yeah. For those of you wondering, I want to try to get onto a ideally at least three uploads a week schedule if my life will allow it. I really appreciate every one of you viewers that let me just talk to the void for a while. Who knows? If I ever get famous, you were here first. Back when I had, what, 10, 10 followers right now? dead. out of the way. That out of the way as well. something like that to start.
not really going to wire this because I kind of just want this bit to thicken up to help deal with the cuts that we made up here. And actually, I'm going to go back in here a little bit and nibble it down. That's much better. Then we hit this larger wound with some cut paste. I like using the liquid. Where's, my, where's a scrap piece of wire to help apply this a little easier? A little scrap piece of wire always makes this a little bit easier to apply. because you can really paint it into the spots that you need. And then a little, another, another drop for good luck. Might as well also hit this wound up here. And you know what, because we're nice, I'll hit this wound here as well. And those ones. And then, if anything, I could wire this up to the viewer a bit. cut it above this node, hopefully get something back in there. probably don't need to go as thick as what I'm about to do, but you know, it's okay. I did apply a little bit too much cut paste there. It is oozing down a little bit, but it's fine. It's only a problem if you think it's a problem.
cage it around this branch a little. I don't want to have it too tight on this one because I'm not trying to do anything to there. I just need to support this one. down a little bit more towards the front. See how that looks. Eh, not the worst of thing, but you know, I should pull it back out a little bit more. Pull that a little flatter. Hopefully that create something there, and yeah, I think that's it on styling, I'll get to repotting. Welcome to the repotting station, where we will continue to work on this uh, Lysoloma bahamensis. We have some pretty bad girdling roots spiraling around. We can get rid of this broken pot now. So to start I'm going to take it a little easier and go with the chopstick to remove dirt, the excess soil. I have a tray down here where I like to put all my old dirt and assorted cuttings. I'm working around radially. can see it was a bit root bound but it's all nice fine feeder roots and just because I can I'll actually do it in here a little bit trying to do now is try to see what surface roots I have to work with. Try to create a nice radial root plane. Okay, so that goes over to there. Try to get that weed out. I realize the flaw with my current camera angle, with me being a lefty. I can I can't work the way I normally want.
So it appears there actually are some decent roots coming, some decent radio roots coming off the top. But there's so much other stuff going on in here. Ideally, I'd like to just come in and just remove all that. The nice thing about these, about the species, is it's a prolific root grower. So I can be very aggressive with these roots and it will be more than happy to grow back. I think I'm going to reduce the root ball back to about this height, if not a little shallower. What's going on in here? Let's see if this angle works. I'm going to take just a pair of loping shears, just come in, flatten out the bottom, maybe take off a little bit more. So now we've really reduced the root ball significantly. But this will be fine. As I said before, the species is very prolific with root growth. I'll move a little bit more to see what's going on with this guy. This guy, this root right here curls. I want to see where it goes. This guy is good. Oh, I accidentally ripped that. pull out our brush really see what we're working with here Where are you going, Root? Well, cut it off. Have another root that's curling right around here instead of coming out radially. You have this one, but then above it right here. Let's see if I can figure out 
where it's going. Separated that back to the front. That it's a little high, but I do like the direction it's going. Yeah, as you can see. That root's just been cutting right across there. And this species is great because you can get this extreme with the root ball and it will recover quite quite quickly. Because if you give these, these things even a couple roots and a place to grow, they will keep growing prolifically. Yeah, see the problem is on the front, on the current front, that is the big issue. Because there's no good root plane on the front. The bat, this side has a really fun set of roots that could be developed into something quite nice. But this is the better all overall line to the trunk. So I might have to make some cuts. Try to see if I can dig that out a little bit. That back to the front a little. this big root come from underneath of the actual good root so that guy can be pruned back pretty pretty far back this guy down here is unnecessary Come back under. Flatten that out. And actually, we can now even take it to this angle and that could work. And if you can hear, it's raining again. Almost never does that. 
down here. Take all this old soil that I don't want. Get rid of it. Toss them to my old soil bin. Now, I always like to pre-prep my pots. So, drainage screens, my tie wires. And then, step one, mound up a layer of soil on the bottom. Gonna have to wash out all the the fines. And so you can see a little bit better. Thinking about actually adjusting for the planting angle to be here. Might angle it a bit more than I was originally intending. Try to lay these roots out as radially as possible, as much as it will let us. I mean, we did remove a lot of roots. But it'll be okay. I mean, worst case scenario, I accidentally killed this tree. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm not tying my usual method, partly because I feel like being a little different. And also I don't really have any roots over here to tie to. Should have tightened that down a little bit more before I hooked it over to this one. It's funny, sometimes I don't even wire in plants, I just use some nice rocks to hold it and hold the root ball in place until it's established in the pot. Then we take this guy over to here. this guy tying in and then just for overkill where's that root coming from you actually over where you're supposed to be. And actually trim you back a little.
not my prettiest wiring job by any means. Honestly, it's probably one of my worst looking ones. But, you know what they say, as long as it works. That's not true, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't half-ass things. But, it's okay, it'll be fine. That go and make sure all these are laid out where I want them. Get those back a little bit more. Actually, pull this out. Lay it. This. Fill it in with more soil. Hit it with some fertilizer, and it's done. Well, and water it in. Because there's so few roots, there's can't really chopstick this in, so I'm just gonna work with my fingers to try to get any glaring air pockets out. And yeah. Hit it with some fertilizer. And it's good. Well, after we water it through. Yeah, so now we're just gonna whoop, get this on the shower. And just water it in. We keep watering until the water that comes out is flowing out clear with no particles of anything else. Make sure to really get any of that pine bark in there to soak up the water to get this thing ready to go. And that's it for this tree for today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.